अपग्रेड ग्लोबल स्टडी पार्टनर्स ने पार्टनर्स मीट एंड नेटवर्किंग इवेंट दुई हजार चौबीस संपन्न फेब्रुअरी पांच तारीख का दिन आयोजना उक्त कार्यक्रम में एजेंट पार्टनर्स तथा शिक्षा क्षेत्र का व्यक्तित्व को उल्लेखनीय उपस्थिति थी कार्यक्रम में अपग्रेड ग्लोबल स्टडी पार्टनर्स ने कंट्री डायरेक्टर अनिल श्रेष्ठ ने उपस्थित पाहना तथा एजेंट र शैक्षिक परामर्श व्यवसायी हालसम को सहयोग रिमामय उपस्थिति का धन्यवाद व्यक्त करते आपको स्वागत मंतव्य व्यक्त कर and inspired us with his keynote speech. On behalf of Globe's Study Partners team, I take this opportunity to express our appreciations and your continued support and partnership. Your support is vital to our success and we are grateful for the trust you have placed in us. The main objective of today's event is to bring together international education professionals for the collaborations, knowledge sharing, and relationship building. We hope this event will present a fantastic opportunity to strengthen our existing partnership and explore the new opportunities that drive mutual success. Once again, thank you for being here and we hope you will enjoy this event. We look forward to continuing our partnership and working together to achieve our 2024 goals and continue to make a positive impact in the international education community. As you all know, GSP is dedicated in providing innovative solutions and exceptional customer service to our clients and our robust partnerships are one of the key components of our success. The education industry is constantly evolving and you can rest assured that we are committed to staying at the forefront of these changes. Our goal is to help you stay competitive as we grow and meet our, together, meet our goals together. Also, I take this opportunity to uh, inform you and please to share you that all, to you all our new brand name and logo of Grad GSP. Our face logo of Grad GSP signifies our unwavering, unwavering commitment to connecting international students with the education providers globally through our user-friendly digital platform, while also reinforcing our association with Upgrad. कार्यक्रम में अपग्रेड जीएसपी का चीफ ग्रोथ अफिशर अली बुटले अपग्रेड जीएसपी को भावी योजना तथा रणनीति को बारे में उपस्थित एजेंट्स तथा पार्टनर्स जानकारी थियो। Uh, so, 
Uh, quickly, a little bit about myself. My name is Ali. I'm based in Melbourne. I look after the overall growth for uh, GSC. And as you guys know, Anil manages the Nepal operations. Uh, similarly, uh, we have operations in other 22 countries. So we got the teams in 22 countries and I oversee them. And this year we are planning to grow from 22 to 25. So there are some new markets we are planning to establish uh, for, uh, for GSP upgrade. GSP has been acquired by the upgrade uh, and we had this process started three years ago. But now this year, um, start of this year is being fully acquired by Upgrad. Upgrad is a big company in India involved in uh, huge investments in education across uh, across India. So this is something positive. Although it will not have a huge impact for our partners in Nepal, but it will give you that satisfaction that the group is being backed up with a very strong uh, financial support. So means there is a better chance for us to do more this kind of an, uh, events and activities across. And it is very important just not for us to be in touch with you guys but also very important for you guys to interact with each other and also our partners to um, kind of away pitch their, uh, their current offerings. And the most important is as for the ESOS, it is also important that the agents are being trained, the recruitment partners are being trained, so this kind of a gathering is, is, is very, very important. Uh, now with GSP, uh, I think we have been improving significantly in terms of uh, improving our platform uh, we are also removing a lot of institutions from our platform. So we did a big due diligence last uh, six months and we figured it out that there are some institutions which we signed quite long back and we are not sending them any students, neither we think it's a high demand for us. So we are going to remove and then looking at a lot of more institutions bringing on board like UK there is a great potential for us. US there is a great potential, obviously Australia uh, is there but we would like to bring more and more. So this will give us a lot of uh, compliance internally as well. Then in terms of our uh, recruitment partners as well, we have many recruitment partners which are not active. So we are trying to also uh, deactivate them, right with students for each institution and try to apply one student, not more than two universities. If we are going to apply three or four or five, it's not going to hurt, going gonna work for us, neither for the institution. So we are putting some restrictions now as well that not everybody can apply anywhere. Like in Africa recently, we just allowed every African agent to submit one application only. So there are some of these things we are doing just to have more sustainability in the business, um, making sure that the collaborative approach between you guys and us and the institutional partners are being uh, uh, done properly with, with the documentation. Now, what I really want to address last one or two minutes is that we got the team here in Nepal, they are well equipped for multi destinations. So please feel free to reach out if a student is not meeting requirement for Australia, what is the alternative best option for us to provide you. If you are not going to ask us, obviously we will not be able to provide that information in detail, but at the moment UK, Ireland, uh, Canada, Australia, all these English speaking destinations we have multiple number of uh, uh, like you know options available for for you guys. If you guys need particular training, last time when we did event, we had a lot of videos, we had a lot of PowerPoint presentations, how the portal work, how we sign agents, how the dashboards look like. This time, like we said, the idea was more just to give you the overview, what our grad is bringing on the table, and what are the plans for GSP, what the team is doing on ground, and then. The idea is for you guys to absorb as much as you can from our institutional partners. So to summarize it, uh, I'll be around for another two days here. Uh, even after today's event, like you know, at lunch time, we will uh, we can socialize and exchange few ideas. So I look forward to catch up with you. And I also would like to thank all of you that you have been promoting and supporting uh, GSP Upgrade for so many years, and the numbers has been growing. But I think we really want to grow this further, where we are at the moment, I think there is no looking back, we would like to get uh, more and more support. So at the end I would like to thank all the institutional partners uh, who have taken their time on Monday morning to come and join us and also the uh, recruitment partners for all your support. I think today's event you will be able to take a lot of stuff with you and I hope this will be a, a great learning experience for your counsellor and for yourself. And the team is there to help you, uh, like, and I'm also willing to help and discuss 
anything if you would like to. So thank you very much and enjoy the day and I look forward to catch up with everyone. Thank you. This is Ukta Karakrama, British Council, Nepal ki Business Pursuit Manager, Christina Kongsa Karli. अपग्रेड जीएसपी तथा अन्य सैचिक परामर्श व्यवसायी हरु संग को सहकारी को प्रशंसा करते भावी दिन हरु में पनी ब्रिटिश काउंसिल नेपाल ने इसलाय निरंतरता दिने धारणा व्यक्त करने भायो। and when we think about British Council, we the most often hear only think that we are an organization which conducts exams. But our mission is actually that we support peace and prosperity by building connections, understanding and trust between people in the UK and countries worldwide. British Council is present in more than 100 countries and we work directly with individuals in these countries to help them gain the skills, confidence and connections to transform their lives and shape a better world in partnership with the UK. We support them to build networks and explore creative ideas, to learn English, to get a high quality education and to gain internationally recognized qualifications. British Council has been here since 1959, I guess like before you can be all of us here were born. So every year what we do in Nepal is we connect with thousands of students, educators, policy makers, academics, teachers and entrepreneurs in Nepal. The focus of our work is on providing opportunities for young people to support young people to achieve the education, qualifications and skills needed to reach their potential in their future careers and also by creating and developing new networks and platforms to give young people a voice in society. I guess this is what I guess this is what Global Study Partners do and all of us here present in this room do as well. So we have a common mission and a common goal to achieve. So, something... Uh, uh, give me a few minutes. Yes. <clears throat> so I'd like to talk about IELTS because uh, IELTS is something that maybe connects us and um, helps us young, young people in our country gain skills abroad. So I'll actually be talking about IELTS and just a give a brief overview on it because I'm sure most of you already know what IELTS is actually. This is the character of the Bibino University that has such a paramorsa bebasaika pratini de Hule, such a paramorsa chetraka observer, a tunuti legat kubisema, raw, upgrade GSP Sangoko Shakari kubisema Afnut Harana Haru, big to go to Kathi. We are University of Tasmania, is the only university in Tasmania which is known either in Australia with a population of almost 6 lakhs, or in Nepal with a population of public university. We have our main campus in Goa, Goa is the capital of the state, that's where our main campus is. We have a small campus in Launceston, in Sydney, and we have packs with ECA, which is in Melbourne as well, where we operate our uh, IT programs and the business programs as well over there. About the university, so this university was founded in 1890, so hence we are one of the four oldest universities in the Australia when it comes to the research programs. We are very famous for the research uh, and it's been almost like 130 years of study excellence and that we are providing to all the international students over here. As far as the ranking is concerned, so we are in top 300 universities worldwide. We are in top 2% of the universities. Uh, and we have almost every discipline available with us, be it engineering, IT, business and economics, or maybe some other maybe uh, agriculture field or environmental health science programs as well. So I won't take much time. I'll be covering uh, most of the programs and I'll straight away come to the GD part, which is very, very important for all of us. And uh, keeping the recent visa trends from BHA for Australia, I would like to more focus on the GD part and the agreement program itself. So this is the geographic location, that's where we are. Now, if we move towards the southern part from Melbourne, so Melbourne is the nearest metropolitan city and it takes almost one hour flight from Melbourne to Hobart and one and a half hour flight from Sydney to Hobart, which is the main capital city hub. Here's the Nepal. It is the first B2B platform who was introduced 
in the power market. And beginning of the uh, beginning of my journey, this GSP department at that time, GSP Bal was very supportive, trusty, and they are very successful on recruitment or on behalf of the application, on behalf of the conversion. That's why again on behalf of university and myself, I would like to thank the entire team of the GSP for the conversion. And obviously, now the case, the Canada they uh, become one sustainable market for Nepal. When I was introduced by myself as a uh, Canadian representative at that time, uh, many of you know that no one was working for Canada, everyone was working for Australia and the USA because of various factor and Nepal is also the dominant market by Australia. When I was approached at the time in the market and let's put the application, let's do for Canada, you will have the option, but no one is agree with me, but now I'm happy I was continuously push up in the market and establish the Nepal market for the Canada as well. Established as a pathway to the Renal University of Technology Sydney, this college has been the beacon of academic excellence since its inception. Situated in Sydney, which is also known as the ninth best city for international students, UTS College also welcomes students from more than 140 countries. Talking about its ranking, University of Technology Sydney falls amongst the top 10, top 100 university, and ninth when it comes to technological university in Australia. Especially when it comes to programs like computer science, engineering, IT, and especially AI, UTS College and University stands tall in number one position in Australia. UTS College Academy Pathway provides diploma and bridging courses to all these international students to get to the University of Technology Sydney directly if they don't meet the requirement. Uh, so initially, I want to say thank you very much, uh, GSP, Upgrade uh, GSP, uh, for this opportunity. And uh, GSP has been doing very good, uh, not only in Nepal, entire globe. Uh, so that's really good and keep it up. Uh, and good wishes for days to come. So that's what I said. Uh, so a little bit of Southern Cross University. Canterbury Institute of Management, we are located in three major cities Sydney, Melbourne, and Darwin. So, I'm not saying a regional campus, say Darwin, myself. Sydney to Melbourne, so we Almost there is an open shop in Brazil. I'm restoring a room, Yamazan Jansen near Polagi, Sydney, the Melbourne campus, Hillside, public transport, but a logic shop. I'm using a Sydney, but not Sydney, my campus, and the Basel course in Polaris, the Sigari Red Point Station, but a logic is a Jansen Master's course in Polaris, or Jose Darling Host Campus, my colleague, and this school is a formal information. GSP Lyon, sir, this month of the Lyon. This is a very street, one day, how much up? There's a University of Tasmania group, Melbourne campus, ECA group, Grammy, some extra. Every education group, they are all different providers of the This is my University of Southern Queensland, which is sitting campus. This is a Canterbury Institute of Management, Canterbury Technical Institute. Brisbane, 
We do have only one course that is Masters of Health Management. So Masters of Health Management would be very beneficial for all the nurses, doctors, public health, health promotion and no CE is required. Okay? And the fee is really affordable, it's 20,000 dollar per year and it is very popular in the Nepal market. Uh, we have here the Higher Education Learning Institute. It is based in Melbourne and the course we have is Masters of E-Learning and Masters of Research Program. Healthy is very affordable in compared to other institutions. It's just 80,000 dollars per year and we have Masters of Research and we don't need any internship or thesis. So that can be a unique learning point for the health program. Talking about university partners, we do have a Victorian University, very popular in Nepal, Sydney and Brisbane campus, full of IT and business courses, very flexible entry requirement. So if uh, you have student for the bachelor's or master's program, then you do can apply in VU Sydney and we do have VU Brisbane campus, Victoria University. So, University of Niagara by the name you can tell we are located in or Ontario, Niagara Falls. Uh, as we all know, Niagara Falls is the number one tourist destination for Canada and uh, we are one and a half hours away from Toronto and 20 uh, minutes, one and a half hours away by train from Toronto and 20 minutes away from the fall itself. So we are centrally located at the downtown of Niagara Falls in Queen Street. And uh, we are a new university, so we are basically focused on the digital programs and after lots of research as it's a new university, we have come up uh, with innovation programs that's basically it's a university for future as we all know that every industry is uh, taking uh, uh, you know, like an evolution in a digital, a digital era a digital era and we all are a digital era. So all our programs are infused with some kind of uh, digital programs in it so that uh, the, we, there are lots of vacancies in the digital world, that's the research says. So on, in North America itself there are lots of vacancies in the same field. So we are job oriented programs where we make sure that our students are job ready. So we are basically a university uh, where we offer uh, lots, we have five programs, three masters and two bachelors, which I'm going to come up with that programs. And um, we are, uh, the cost of living because of the, our uh, location is 25% lesser than in um, Toronto, which uh, is also one of, you know, like a plus point for our university. And as we all know that one of the main questions that all of our students ask is the job, the accommodation right now for whatever is happening in Canada and for we are a very safe for University of Niagara Falls because of our location and uh, the university, the new university that, that we are. And as it's a it's in a uh, you know like tourist destination, there are around 14 million footfall uh, tourists in the, um, in the city of Niagara Falls. So that says a lot about you know how the hustle bustle, how uh, busy the uh, location is, which also says that there's lots of job available for our students because there's lots of uh, restaurant pubs, you need uh, hotels and activities for tourists, but not only for tourists but um, the students and local also. So that gives a uh, you know one um, benefit for our students in terms of accommodation and jobs. Um, and we, um, Naira Fall Innovation Hub is a workspace located five minutes away from the university itself. So basically, it's a workspace for you know, new um, uh, ventures and the industry people, so where the you know like everybody can come in and then have a network, uh, build their PR, so I, uh, students in University of Niagara Falls can have access to it, uh, so that they are uh, you know they have while they study in the university itself. They have a, um, you know, like uh, the PR for uh, the job. While firstly, uh, we offer the two different courses that is directly related with the IT. So, bachelor's of information and communication technology, specialized in cybersecurity and networking. So, we have the postgraduate degree called the Master of IT Services. 
So as you all of you know that AI is taking overtaking the IT. So that's why it is one of the hot cake in Australia. And so we are promoting these courses from the various students and especially we are getting uh, maximum applications from India and Bangladesh as well. So uh, uh, regarding the e-takes, we have the only two e-takes in here, so that is March day, which is already closed, and we have the upcoming intake in July. Okay. So Western Sydney University uh, Melbourne campus is a brand new campus, so owned by the ATMC Education Group. So the COE and the operator, all of these will be issued from the university. ATMC is just providing the campus location in Melbourne, so this is located in Park Street. So it's a central business district, so convenient location for the place students, so they can easily travel to their home, uh, they can travel to their work and the college. So this is the one of the prominent features of the WOC Melbourne campus. So uh, we have the two different courses and the most the important thing is we have the maximum scholarships than the main campus. So main campus is only offering six thousand dollars annual scholarship. Uh, however, we are offering the thirty percent scholarships from second semester to last semester for both of these programs. <laughs> so um, regarding the entry requirements, so I'll tell the academic requirement is two point nine GPA. With the recent fashion, so students must not be uh, must not have gap more than twelve months. Okay, so that is twenty-two uh, passout is not acceptable. Twenty-three only. So regarding IELTS requirement, so we require overall six point five on this and six for both of these programs. We take fifty eight on this and fifty. So. Um, I'm not uh, talking about the G, so because uh, GSP team will share the GT insights uh, with all of the RPs. A unique partnership that is formed between the two very important bodies. That is one is the South Cross University, which is a public university in Australia, and the another is the Bulls Fund, which is a multi-billion dollar invest investors in the hospitality sector. So yeah, this is our South Cross University. I think Fogel has talked a lot about the university itself, so I don't need to explain much about it. So yeah. So uh, Mufa, as I said, that uh, Mufa is an uh, investor. It's, a, it's an investment company which only do the investment in the hospitality sector. So I would like to introduce some of the Mufa properties that is there uh, across the globe, which the Mufa So, um, yeah, as I already said that we have the unique partnership, the hotel school is formed by the unique partnership between the two very uh, important entities. So, we are very proud to share our employment outcomes by the hotel school in 2022. That is, we should, we, our graduates are able to secure 100% job placement after the graduation. Uh, more precisely, most of the students get the job placement in the internship, but we have the proud uh, record of securing 100% job placement after the graduation, unless the students want to come back to their home countries and do something in their home place. So if the students who are willing to stay back in Australia and just utilize the post time work, we are able to place 100% uh, placement for all the students who successfully complete the degree with us. So uh, that's the uh, partnership, like industry partners, do we, uh, we are connected with the MULFA. So it's 11,500 plus industry experience opportunities that the students will get the opportunities when they start with us. So yeah, this is very exciting part. So yeah, so we don't only offer the internship that is free. So we actually pay the students in the internship duration. So yeah, the salaries weeks that we paid to the students in the duration of the internship is $27 per hour. So that is the minimum salary which the students are getting when they are placed in the internship period. So uh, I think I am mostly highlighting uh, the internship part because I think you as partners, uh, as you really wanted to promote the unique sentiment of any 
of the institution and this will help the Odia School to promote to your students so that is what I am giving more emphasis on the internship, uh, uh, internship advantage that we have at the Odia School. So yeah, uh, these are some of the uh, very uh, popular uh, organizations where the students find the internship and the roles that they do. First of all, I would like to thank you to all our recruitment partners for your presence at this uh, Optrack GSP partnership meet and networking. And also thank you for your continued support and kind coordination. Working hand in hand together made us successful in 2023. Today I am here to present University of West of Scotland, located in Scotland. Scottish universities are a very way in the innovation in such areas like life science, medical research, biotechnology and environmental science. Uh, University of West of Scotland yeah. has uh, campuses across Southwest Scotland and they have four campuses across Scotland. Uh, basically, uh, like I said, Air and John Price and, other, uh, and one campus located in London as well. So we are representing uh, four campuses across the Scotland. I'd like to thank uh, all of our team and all of you guys who um, supported us um, with the good numbers for 2023. Um, um, we we, are, we have been supported by our esteemed institution and dedicated recruitment partners. We've ended with good numbers for 2023. And with your collective efforts, we've laid the foundation uh, to sharpen our expertise and enhance support that we are set to provide for the year 2024. It's an honor to have you here today at the Outgrad CSP Partners with the of the Rainbow 24. Uh, so, without further ado, I'll have this our presentation. Uh, so generally, I'll be talking about the facts and uh, updates on the North American market, that is US and Canada. Uh, so basically, my presentation will have such updates on the whole uh, the US market, so it's still more with the facts and figures. So it's step back, future study, OPCP, which is the confusion in the market, and uh, universities partner with JSP as well, and application checklist, and also the overview of the Canada market. Okay, so before I move on to my presentation, uh, I have a question for you guys and even a lovely feedback. कार्यक्रम को अंतिमा अपग्रेड जीएसपी ले आपनों उत्कृष्ट एजेंट तथा सौचिक परामर्श व्यवसाय हरु तथा उपस्थित अतिथि हरु लाए प्रमाण पत्र तथा माय को चीनू प्रदान कर दे कार्यक्रम को समापन दोहरी कुतियो